how is everyone doing today and in this video i specifically want to talk about especially with us finishing with penacani and going back to the lofu in one way shape or form i know we're going to another ship or something i think if i'm not wrong when it comes to the brand new characters coming into the game especially now that we are going to be getting young lee and jiao show which i can't wait to see how jiao show is going to be when he comes out but specifically looking back at the units that we have at the current moment especially looking at the meta that they're trying to cater towards right now which are the break units like Firefly, like Boo Hill. And we're probably going to see more. I think right now what we're looking like specifically, especially when it looks like characters with like Fei Shao, looking at characters like possibly Ling Sha. I think these future characters are definitely going to work in some way, shape or form in the break style type of DPS or break style type of archetype, just because it's only the beginning when it comes to the characters that are going to be a part of this archetype, especially when it comes to the DPSs, because right now we only have Boo Hill and we also have only Firefly. And of course, we are still waiting for certain replacements. I do think Ling Sha might be the Gallagher replacement. I do think Harmony MC will eventually get his time to be replaced as well with a more premium unit at that, because of course you want to flesh out the archetype to its fullest when you get the chance. But specifically today, I do want to talk about all the characters in total, just saying, are the break characters a little too strong right now? Or are the break characters a little too broken compared to the other DPS that are in the game? Of course, there are some outliers like Akron, how absolutely busted she is and how amazing she is at what she does. We still have some hard hitters like Kafka, like Xing Liu, like Don Hung. There's a lot of really good characters still in the game right now. But of course, looking into the future, especially looking at how these break characters are working now, are they a little too strong for what we're probably going to be seeing in the future? And I specifically want to talk about not only the improvements that they could probably make with the break team, how they could become maybe a problem. I don't want to say an actual problem because they're not a problem in the most part. They have their weaknesses, of course, but they are also super duper strong in what they do. So I do want to talk about that. I also want to talk about what they could do to balance them out. And I also want to talk about what future characters might need to have or future characters will have to compete with when it comes to going against the break archetype but before we get to all that make sure you have a like comment sub all the different type of stuff especially if you're enjoying the star world content because i am super excited for the next versions upcoming especially with young lee she looks super fun after i've showcased off her i really want to try out march 7th as well so we have a lot of stuff coming in the future that i cannot wait to make videos on but going ahead and talking about the break type of characters like looking with firefly and with looking at someone like boo hill these two characters are absolutely amazing especially in the dps that they do and how fast they do it especially when you pair them up with characters like ruan may and characters like hmc where they kind of buff each other to the absolute limit when it comes to how much damage they're able to do how fast they can destroy meter and all that different type of stuff just overall really strong characters out the gate when looking at the break character specifically they kind of have no weakness at the moment Besides if an enemy decides to block themselves off from having a weakness or when they kind of exit out all of their weaknesses and they have a short brief period of time where they cannot be broken. That's kind of the only thing that you don't want to have with these characters. But usually if you pilot the team correctly, you can kind of in a way prevent that by breaking them immediately and stopping them from ever getting to that phase where they don't have a weakness. Then the weakness break teams or the break archetype really don't have to worry about anything that's in their way because for the most part a lot of them when it comes to their ultimates and their skills or whatever else when it comes to firefly blue specifically they're able to implant fire they're able to implant physical and these are some overly tuned abilities in my honest opinion now do i think it's necessary for the team 100 percent i think if a break character comes out and they can't implant their weakness they're kind of a done deal because they literally can't do their job unless you have another character which would be silver wolf so the thing about this about the break type characters is that being able to implant weakness especially when it comes to the modes in the game you're looking at two teams that you need to have one for moc and one for apocalyptic shadow or two for moc two for apocalyptic shadow pure fiction could be if and so depending on the characters that you want to use don't mind me not finishing my moc i'm waiting for nyan lee so that i can play with her and get it done with her because i think it would be super fun but talking about that realistically let's say you have wuhu on the first team you have firefly on the second team these two are immediately and i mean immediately finished <laughs> no character is going to be able to stop them or no character or enemy is going to be able to stop them from doing what they need to do in order to get the job done 
realistically you don't need much for each character well, of course they would like certain characters like ruamei they would like characters like with having hmc gallagher but like i said before we're probably expecting them to flesh out the archetype a little bit more with the premium version of hmc with the premium version of gallagher and when that comes well guess what we can have boo hill with someone like gallagher ruamei and hmc or something like that and then for the next team then we put in let's say the new wing shot let's just use himiko as link shot we have someone like a new premium version of hmc let's put that as our gen team. we just got the red hair crew right here so we have the premium new hmc version we have link shot and now we're waiting for another break support or we can just overall slot in another unit like bronya who a lot of people have been using for certain break teams to be able to just non-stop pile on the toughness damage that you would be getting if you would have ruan may on the team so there's a lot of workarounds and a bunch of different things that we're expecting to see but when you look at this let's say you go ahead and build towards this break type team is there really any reason to build another character or is there any reason to build another team when these two characters can brute force away through any content i know before we looked at akron to be the end all be all for brute forcing content because the numbers that she was able to do was absolutely absurd and honestly she's still able to do that especially with the current content that we have now including a bunch of enemies and not only that enemies that share life bars so all the damage that akron is doing spread is still hitting the same enemy and doing absolutely massive damage so it's not like she's lost any value the funny thing about akron is she's getting more value as time goes by she's not losing power as we're going towards this break style meta because we have a character like Zhao Shou coming up. We have her team with Dot, which is absolutely monstrous with the damage it does. And overall, her hyper carry team that's able to put out some absurd numbers with her as well. But looking at the break team again, is there any reason to build another team when these two can brute force their way through anything? And that's where I really want to make sure and see what is Star going to do about the break team. Because I do know that as time goes by, they're gonna bring something else more busted they're gonna make each character better and better and better and that's basically the formula they've been trying to do of course with Yao show and also young lee we've kind of taken a step back from the power of characters that we're getting young lee is a really nice dps with a coming to mlc and apocalyptic shadow and also for pure fiction with the showcases i've had before but she isn't the craziest character in the world she's no acheron she's no firefly she's no boo hill i would probably put her a tiny bit closer to jing liu and don hung i don't think she's crazy but i do think she's very viable in a bunch of different modes so that gives her a bunch of value when it comes to using her and pulling for her same thing goes for jiao show i think jiao show is also a really cool character and is probably going to be used on a bunch of different teams have a bunch of usability and i do think he will have some influence in the future with different characters other than akron which we know who's going to be the best teammate for her but for the most part i think jell show with even characters like young lee she uses ultimate damage so that's going to be a big buff for jell show and future characters that will be coming out we could probably see them have something big with their ultimate and there you go jell show gets more power that way so these two characters in this patch it seems like a lot of people are going to be skipping them which makes a lot of sense but in all honesty these characters are so great in what they do they're just not the peak of the peak when it comes to the dps that they're able to provide with young lee and also the support that you get with Zhao show going forward and looking to these break units i do think they might do something similar like what they did with genshin where is where zong lee was able to provide a shield that was almost indestructible guess what they did to stop that they went ahead and made damage so that you could pierce through shields and when that happened healers became viable so something in regards to how that worked in reverse i do think that maybe is a potential thing that might happen which i might find super crazy to outright take a mechanic from the game which is i don't know how they would balance this out imagine if they put enemies in with no weakness bar like they just straight up had health only and that's the way i think they would go around these type of characters like with boo hill like with firefly but the problem with that is that would make them absolutely obsolete that would make them almost immune to the damage that they do because you can't do super break damage if they don't have a bar because remember super break damage comes from what you would have done to the toughness bar there's no toughness bar there at all and they're not able to break they're not able to do super break damage so they basically do zero damage in whole of course unless you're running a uh, rocking a giga chat version of boo hill then maybe you can do some damage without having to worry about that in that case boo hill might be firefly out in that situation but overall i kind of don't see them doing that because if they just made a toughness bar with no weakness well 
great characters can just add it on and they're going to be the prime uh mary dps's for that type of situation but taking away the toughness bar in total that would be kind of absurd in my honest opinion i have no idea how they will work around building a structure of enemies that are probably going to discourage using shield breakers because right now i don't think that any type of dps is being discouraged right now especially with the follow-up team being so strong with robin with the dot team still being absolutely massive akron still putting out some massive damage sela is still somehow with how old she is as a unit bypassing all of these hurdles and still becoming some of the best dps in the game and there's just so many characters right now they're still doing what they have to do in regards to the work that they need to have done i just think the break characters are definitely super strong right now in the meta they're probably going to be the defining dps at the current moment and i don't see a way for them to stop the brute force nature of the break characters in a way that would make a lot of sense because like i said if they take the break bar away that's a whole mechanic taken away from the game, which is the core foundation of Honkai Star Row. So I definitely want to see what they're going to probably do to balance up these break characters with generic DPSs. Because I do think as we are moving into the 2.0 version of characters, characters like Selet, well, actually, she's a very bad example because she's still rocking with how her she works with her resurgence. But then at characters like Don Hung, Looking at characters like Jing Liu, these characters are more of the traditional 1.0 DPSs. They give themselves a little bit of buzz, they give themselves a little bit of uh, damage scaling when it comes to how you use them. But overall, nothing really crazy. Now that we're going into the 2.0 version of DPSs, now we have break characters that can implant whatever the F they want. They do super break. Now you also have characters like Akron who relies on the team to be able to do debuffs which gives her her ultimate because she's not energy reliant i do think as time goes by a lot of these traditional dps's are going to be slightly phased out one after another with more characters that are a little bit more absurd maybe they take more aspects of akron where they're a more team centric character or maybe they might take aspects of the break character and just brute force whatever the heck they want in certain situations that they're going to be put in so i definitely want to know what y'all think when it comes to the meta right now in honkai Starro. i do think that the break characters are absolutely insane and that their brute force nature is super strong and something really scary um, for the future which is not a bad thing for me i think it's a really cool way to diversify how we play these characters diversify the experience we have with the battles that we do with the enemies versus having the different types of teams like follow-ups die alt reliant damage like with argenti or break everything in that sort i just think it's really cool to see something different i just want to know with how kind of busted the break characters are and how overtuned the weakness implant is which they kind of need it but the fact that they can just put it on whatever enemy they want I think that's kind of insane for the most part. <laughs> so let me know what you think in regards to how they could probably balance this out, how you think the break characters are, what you expect in the future for break characters, or overall what's going on with the meta. I just think the break characters are really, really good. I think they are super strong and they are a crazy direction for the game to go towards. I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with, with future units, especially with what I assume is face shall be the win break character because we still need to flesh out all the dps is and of course all the premium supports all the premium sustains when we get to it but other than that that was just my little discussion piece on the break characters and what i think about in the meta at the current moment i think right now we're in a really fun time for honkai star Wars, especially with the brand new different types of units but other than that that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the video see y'all guys in the next one and peace